uh, just uh, first of all, uh, use scam I don't think can import the uh, text directly from uh, AutoCAD. So if you if you really want to import the text, I think you have to go to AutoCAD and uh, use this uh, command in AutoCAD text explode to explode the, all the text first and and then you import the gifs if you need i have a file here so you can test it out okay uh yeah i've tried to import this just as an import i'm going to use the cxs horizontal late and uh, okay uh, I've tried this uh, prefer plane change to exact it seems that is not working yeah you always go to the XY so I'm going to show you how to work around and just click process to import everything inside okay after you import you can see uh, I don't know why, but in this uh, files it contains some surface also. So you can use the shift button and the mouse to select all this and press the delete button again to delete those unwanted things. Yeah, like that. Solid. Let me uh, come in again. Delete this. This is unmounted. Yep. And you can see all the lines now is uh, at the XY plane. And you can check out the work group. I think uh, you have uh, different geometry for the work group. Right? Different layer contain different things. You can off the layer display if you want. Let me change it. Uh, let me change my working group here. Here, and uh, I think this is now. This also let's close it. Let's close this, and I think this is the geometry that we need, right? Okay, now. Of course, you can create a new work group. For example, uh, just to create a new work group. And I will copy this. Uh, let me select, highlight this workload, and use the shift button to copy this. And you say, can select, edit, and copy. And then you go to new workload, and you can go to edit and paste. Right after this, then let's close this. This. Close the overall group. And now what you see this all of the geometry is inside this. This uh, you can change the name. Yeah. Maybe. This is the geometry. Okay. Let's go isometric view. And you can see uh this Geometry is, is in uh, purple color. That means this geometry doesn't belong to the X Y exact plane. So how to change this to exact plane? Next, I'm going to show you. Uh, make sure you, of course, make sure over here the coordinate system is like exact plane, and then go to uh, use the shift button. Sorry. Use this, let's close this. Use the shift button, select all the uh, geometry, and then go to modify and change. Use this one, change CSHVD, and it will change the geometry to the XZ uh, coordinate systems and is in a blue color. Let's go to home. Next, if you need to move this to the zero point, you can always use the a absolute translate yeah okay and I can let's put this zero yeah so I can capture this point over here by pressing uh, uh, alternate control alternate key right to 
capture this point here this is for one one point if you want two point you have to place the shift alternate shift alternate it will update the z and d as well and move to where so i'm going to move to this position zero 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 and select all the press shift key again shift key select all the geometry and just click do it right there you are after you select do it uh, you can see the stop is still big you can go to view and string wrap right and from this data you still can change maybe 20 the, the, the stock right 20 or I will maybe use a on control key to capture value here is 30 uh, how about 35 maybe 1 mm and maybe minus 200 for example for the stop right so this is how you import the geometry from the AutoCAD and uh, copy the geometry that you need and import to the uh, newer group and readjust the coordinate system for the geometry of course uh, here you need to you know close this gap to close this gap I think uh, is it round here is it up okay maybe I can't delete this and also this one also and this and this Ah, this is not a up, I think. Not a up. Let's undo. So, uh oh, let's redo. Right. I uh, mean, I think this is a straight line somehow missing. Uh, if you, maybe you can use the two point to just connect this two point together. Yeah, like that. And then uh, after that, maybe we do this point again, this point again. We'll try to make a connection out of this, connect, and this and this connect to solve the gap problem over here. And let's save. So I hope. Uh, yeah, I show you something that's useful. Thank you.